or wired up so that we can uh, plug it up and do a power test make sure everything comes on this is the wire that runs from your power inverter run it through the same hole right here to go we're going to run this through the box this is what's going to hook into my fan um, I think I had showed you guys the wrong fan in the middle of the video I had a little uh, there it is this is the fan that uh, that I want to use and it's really thin and so we should be able to get by with these uh, inch and five eighths bolts they'll run through the fan just like this right here and we want about a half an inch space so we can get some airflow that will go right into the foam this thing is really light and that thing will hold good but we're going to get to that that'll be the next segment guys we're going to plug up and do a power test and while we're doing that we're going to check and wire up our fan be right back Alrighty folks, we're going to go ahead and uh, before we get the fan mounted, we're going to go ahead and get this thermostat mounted here between these bulbs. I like these appliance bulbs because they don't take up a whole lot of room. They're clear, they get hot fast, and they're really small. They don't stick out like a, a, a normal light bulb. It'd stick out here another uh, inch or so out here further in the box. These stay really tight. But what we're going to do here is we take this Sam Mix, this recycled Sam Mix thermostat here that we uh, pulled out of a space heater. I put on a couple of solderless plugs to plug them up to the blades here. Went ahead and plugged it up and you notice this is how we mounted it to the uh, we mounted it here to this piece of hardware cloth. Took a piece of hardware cloth guys like this right here and cut cut the square out right there snipped it out so that the shaft of that uh, thermostat would go through there and we could take the nut and uh, and screw it right on there, fasten it on there. Now, we, using this hardware cloth, we can put this through our hole here that we drilled for a thermostat. Well, this is where we want it to sit, right around here. We'll take us a couple of these, in. and there we got it mounted. And this is live. Whenever you plug this unit up, guys, these blades will be live with 120 volts electricity. So. What I've done is I took some hardware cloth here and cut us a little safety cage. See, I just I, we eyeballed it and just bent it in a configuration here to where it'll fit like this, nice and neat, right here around this uh, this thermostat, making sure that it's not touching the thermostat, and just in case you know, just in case little fingers or something are messing around with this that they won't get shocked. So uh, but what we're going to do right now is we're just going to do a power up test uh, and then we'll uh, get our fan wired up. So we'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, fast forward ahead. Uh, all I did was I took my wires through coming from the power inverter back here and uh, run them through to the fan. I just touched the wires to the fan. I was right the first time whenever I touched it in the fan run. So uh, so I clamped on a couple of uh, connectors here to our fan wires coming from our power inverter on the back. And we took a, uh, I took some wire ties, zipped on the back right here to snug this, to snug it down, to use it like a wire tie nut on the very back of these right here so that whenever I tighten it down, so whenever I take my screwdriver and we snug this up, that gets really good and tight right there. All right, let's plug this rascal up, see if everything's working. Well, looks like we have a successful power up test. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bolt on my little uh, safety uh, cage here on the other side, guys, and uh, and we'll wrap this one up. All right, we got it covered. Now we'll fire it up and let it run and uh, do some adjusting on it. We'll see how we end up. 
and guys I just wanted to mention I don't think I had I meant to earlier see where I've got these the the configuration using this uh, Samex this recovered Samex thermostat from a from an old space heater uh, these two 25 watt bulbs are here really close this is dead centered right between these two bulbs in the event one of these bulbs blows out it should be warm enough to keep this box warm and it should also be close enough with the fan blowing across here from the other side to keep this thing cycling like it should so you didn't lose a hatch if you happen to blow a bulb. What I like about these appliance bulbs, they're designed for tens of thousands of cycles. I've never blown one yet. Everything I've got an appliance bulb in, guys, some have been in them for years, uh, for two years now, and have not had to replace a bulb.